Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 20th. So yeah, it's Thursday the 20th, but keep in mind the timing is fluid, and this reading is not sign specific. It may or may not be for you, so we're just going to see what comes up. I know that this is early today. I just feel the need. So, you know, I'm going with my gut here and putting the daily vibe in right now. I know I have three other readings to be done for the last segment, which would be Scorpio, Virgo, and Leo. They will be done tonight. So just please be patient. They're coming. It's very intense energy, releasing energy right now, purging, detoxing, the whole nine yards, whatever. So, you know, it's going gonna, it's, 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 it's gonna to happen. They're coming. Anyway, so let's get started. Um, the 20th. What do we got for the 20th? Mm, we're going to start right here. What do we have for the 20th? Keep in mind that the timing is fluid because there really are no clocks in divine timing. Divine timing is, it happens when it happens. You don't choose, the universe does. A lot of people don't understand what divine timing is. Storm warning. We got a tornado coming in. That fits. That's kind of funny. That is funny because I was picturing, you know, a tornado and a hurricane earlier. I was I was doing something. But anyway, um, yeah, we definitely have a storm warning. Watch out. Uh, the storm is coming. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There could be some lightning, okay? Something could strike out of the blue, okay? Lightning could strike out of the blue. Uh, there could be some sort of... Uh, Breakdown, okay. There could be a breakdown. There is a storm up brewing, okay. Yikes! That's what all I can say. That's, uh oh. And on the bottom of the deck, we got the Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> so we got this woman. This is woman holding coin, but this is the Queen of Pentacles. There's, there's that's no lie. Okay, this woman, she knows her value, she knows her worth, she um, has worked hard for all that she has. She's given a lot, she's very generous, she's kind, she's, uh, you know, she's very abundant, she's, she's dressed very, really well, she's worked hard, she takes good care of things, she's a nurturer. So for some, in some aspect of this day, we have, this is a woman, okay, this is a feminine, it is. Those of you who want to change it up, that's bullshit. Anyhow, this is a woman, and this woman she has a, she has a, she has something in her hands. She has something valuable to offer. Um, but she's not just gonna give it away because she's got a she's got a firm grip on it. She's got a firm grip on it. She's worked hard. She's worked hard. I mean, she looks the look on her face. I mean, she looks like she's. Uh, contemplating you know whether she wants to offer anything what whether what, what what she wants to do she's in a state of you know maybe distrust I mean if you look at the look on her face she may not trust she's like she's holding on to what she has to offer perhaps she's trying to figure out you know Whether she even wants to share it with anybody. We're going to get one of these next. She's stable. I mean, the Queen of Pentacles is stable. She's solid. She's secure. And she does know her value. What do we got for the 20th? We got a storm brewing, that's for sure. Oh, getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So there could be a couple people that are getting to know each other. And this is getting to know each other. So, 
you know, if you've been with somebody for a long time, you know, maybe you need to, you need to dig a little bit deeper to get to know them. This could be somebody new, though. I really feel like this is somebody new. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. And on the bottom of this deck, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. This is about communication. It's about touch. It's about reaction. It's about support. Make the effort. If you see that there is a great love connection, make the effort. Dig a little deeper. Maybe there's a storm brewing because somebody's not digging deep enough. They're not making the effort. Anyhow. We're going to get one of these. What do we have for the 20th? Oh boy. Diving for light. This is coming out of darkness. Looking on the light, the brighter side of things. Looking for the light. Coming out of the darkness. Doing whatever you can to get through this storm. You know, follow the light. We're going to read this card. We will read this card, but we will probably read it at the end. And at the bottom of this deck, what do you feel? What do you feel? What do you want? That's what this day is about. What do you feel? It's not about what other people feel. What do you feel? Perhaps that's why there's a storm brewing, because somebody hasn't been honoring their true feelings. Maybe it's time to reconnect with somebody. Alright. So getting to know each other, revealing the truth. A bond is about to deepen in some way, perhaps. This is an 11. Your thoughts become things. Something is manifesting. <laughs> Something is manifesting. Mm. Yeah, some sort of truth is about to come out. Some sort of truth is about to be exposed, or it already has. It could have been exposed. At any time. Um, three of Wands. Somebody may have missed the boat. They may have wasted some time. Page of Cops. This is a, we a welcome message of love coming in. Could even I don't know what this is. This I was gonna say it could be an apology, but then I I tried to stop myself from saying it. But anyhow, this is a message of love. Somebody is going to be speaking up, taking their mask off. They've wasted some time. Maybe their expectations have been dashed. Somebody may be wanting you to give them a chance. This is, this is love. This is an offer of emotional support in some way. Tender loving care could be an apology. But it's a message and it's a loving message. It's a kind message. Ooh. Somebody's about to take that next step. That is taking that next step. It's like they want to grab on to something. Somebody is trying to find balance. They're trying to uh, maybe they're trying to do too much at one time. I'm not sure. We got somebody here that is 
needing to take the next step, but also needing to make a choice. Twos are about choices. It's like you got to choose which one do you want. You probably can't have them both. This is a choice. Twos are a choice. So somebody's in the process of making a choice. Which one do you want? You got to choose. You can't have them both. Mm. Page of Wands reversed. So this is an unwelcome message. This is this is bad news. This is negative. This is somebody that is um, pessimistic. This is somebody who, who has lost focus. Somebody who doesn't follow through. Um, there's some there's a level of indecision here as to whether somebody wants to you know open their heart or whether they want to apologize or whether they want to you know express themselves you know this is a, this is a level of indecision it's like i don't know what i want it's like if i if i go this way i'm going to have to let something go it's, no. Eight of Cups. So somebody is really thinking, and this is Eight of Cups reversed, they're really thinking about uh, going back to something. Because this is going back, the Eight of Cups reversed. Somebody is thinking about going back. They're thinking, and they're, ta they're, they're taking quite a bit of time to think about it. There's some emotional disappointment here. Big time. Somebody, in, somebody is very disappointed um, <laughs> about not making a move or about something about not telling the truth or not stepping up sooner I'm not sure what this is eight of cups reversed this is somebody is thinking about now we're gonna have to get some more cards They're thinking about going back, or they're thinking about leaving. It could be either. It could be both, because there's a choice between two. That's exactly what this is, too, now that I said it. Somebody is thinking about leaving one situation and going to another, whether they're going back or going to a new one. That's what somebody is thinking about leaving, or they're thinking about going back. could be both. This is the other woman. This is the other woman. And this is when, when the Queen of Wands comes up in a reading, it signifies the, another woman. Okay, that there's probably, even if you are the Queen of Wands in theory, it, it signifies that there's probably another woman in the mix. There may be another person or woman or a man in the mix that has, you know, you know, there's a choice that needs to be made here. Somebody is watching and they're not happy with what they're seeing. That's for damn sure. They are not happy at all with what they are seeing. Like, dangerously stalking. This could even be a dangerous situation. It could be with that storm warning. Now, we have somebody here who is very attractive. Somebody who is very um, creative. We have somebody here that is very strong. This is a force to be reckoned with. So we do. We have one person here that is a force to be reckoned with. And we have this other person that is probably watching from behind the scenes. That's what this is. And they are not happy at all with whatever these circumstances are. Ooh, yikes. So we got uh, disbelief. Somebody may be in disbelief as to what is happening. Uh, not listening as well. Somebody's not listening to their gut. Somebody is, maybe they haven't learned a lesson. You know, they haven't learned something. They're refusing to listen. Okay, this guy's a teacher. The Hierophant is a teacher. It's reversed. It's like refusing to accept any guidance. Or maybe they've accepted guidance from people that... Um, they shouldn't have, you know. They haven't been listening to their intuition. They haven't been listening to their higher power. They've been listening to others. There could be fear of commitment here. 
And he said, God, so this is this is an opportunity for love. This is love. Okay, there's an opportunity. This is this is love. I mean, we know we know what the Ace of Cups is. This is a card of compassion. It's a card of intimacy. It's a card of new love. It's a card of reconciliation. It's a card of emotional support. It's a card of heartfelt feelings. So we have somebody here that may be in love. You know, they may be in love and, you know, they are, they're reluctant to take that step Maybe they don't believe, they, they don't have faith that they will be accepted. This is negative thinking. They could be thinking, you know, very pessimistically, you know, that, you know, if they, they, they might be scared of making the wrong choice. Um, I just want to make sure that this is zoomed in. So, we're for the 20th. For the 20th, we have somebody here that is thinking about... what they lost, what they missed. They're missing, they're missing something, okay? They're missing something, they missed something. They're thinking about um, the time that they have wasted. They're thinking about, you know, the dishonesty. I mean, the two of swords, somebody's been in denial, somebody has been lying, they've been avoiding the truth, they've been blocking their emotions, they've been blocking the truth. That's what this is. Somebody's been blocking their true feelings, okay? Blocking their thoughts as well. Swords are thoughts. And I can see that. I can see that somebody has. Somebody has not been listening. And I feel as though they're now they're really, really upset with what they are seeing. And they are definitely watching, okay? Somebody is definitely watching. They're watching this person. Um, basically expand themselves i mean this person is very strong and courageous uh attractive and powerful i mean she's dressed in wet red we have this very powerful individual here who is really standing in her power She's standing in her power. We have somebody that is watching from the sidelines and they are probably in disbelief. They're in disbelief. I mean, she acts impulsively. The Queen of Wands acts impulsively. She, she, you know, sometimes she doesn't think. She just, she just does things that, you know, without thinking. <laughs> so, anyway, um... I feel as though there is some sort of message coming through or it is going to come through from somebody that has heartfelt feelings for another person. I think that somebody is about to make a choice. They're about to take a step. Um, but there is a lot of pessimism here. There is a lot of pessimism. Um, ooh, the lovers. This is a choice. I knew there was. This is a choice between two. And this is a choice. That's what we got here. We have somebody here that is in the process of making a choice as to which road they want to go down. And this person is very indecisive. So is today somebody going to make that choice? Are they going to make the choice? I mean, there's a, there's a connection here that is very beautiful. It's very, um, there's a very, it's a very sensual connection. It's a very, um, compatible, uh, union but we have somebody here that isn't listening it's like they're not they're not listening to their gut unfortunately they're not with this card reversed and i think they're upset they're very really really upset because now they have to make a choice of some sort they have to choose a six of swords reversed we got somebody here that is reluctant to take a new approach they're reluctant, they're scared, they're fearful. Therefore, they're staying in the storm, they're staying in the troubled waters because they just won't do anything. They won't take any action. And it's based out of fear, it's based on our thoughts, fear of the unknown. I think we have somebody here that is with somebody that is not well suited for them, honestly. 
but they're reluctant to take that next step because they're they're fearful. I think they're fearful of rejection. We got somebody here, the King of Cups in reverse, that is emotionally withdrawn. Somebody that is not emotionally available to love or this person just can't master their emotions. This person will not open their heart for some reason. Maybe they've been hurt so badly that they can't. We do have somebody here that is in complete um, a shutdown, emotional shutdown mode, just not opening their heart. Therefore, their cup is empty. Their cup is empty because they won't open their heart. Emotionally exhausted, overwhelmed. We have somebody here that is overwhelmed with their thoughts, overwhelmed with despair, overwhelmed with anguish. No kidding. No kidding. Stuck in a rut. Stuck in their own inner storm. Because they're afraid to take that next step, even though they do have strong feelings for somebody. Could... Mm. We have somebody that is absolutely, positively exhausted. Um, king of Coins. Now we got the King of Cups and the King of Coins. And we got somebody here that's focusing on everything but a relationship. Everything but love. Even though they have feelings. Even though they want love. It's almost like they don't want to reciprocate though. They don't want to follow their heart. But there's a strong connection. There's a strong attraction. We got somebody here that may have addictions that are hindering them from making the right decision. We definitely have a masculine here, okay, a masculine that is unwilling to follow his heart. I'm surprised we don't get the Five of Swords. I will be surprised if we don't get it. This guy is thinking about, they're thinking about this woman. They are thinking about this woman. Ten of Cups. There's an opportunity for extreme happiness. There's an opportunity for a, a strong relationship. There's an opportunity to build a relationship. There's an opportunity for... A happy life. This guy is thinking about having a relationship, but really not putting in the effort, not really focusing, not really giving the relationship a chance. Not giving it a chance. Looks like she's looking away from the relationship now. She's not focused on it. She's not looking at it. She's going down a new path. We got this the feminine that's decided to go down a new path. She might have a new prospect. She's got to do the right thing for herself. She's finding the backbone and the integrity. Perhaps she's got a new love interest. I guess it's time to start over. That's what that she's. I, I guess it's time to start over, and go find somebody that I am more compatible with. It's time for me to take that next step. So I think you know we have somebody here that may be, you know, deciding not to focus on that relationship because the the masculine that they've been waiting for is reluctant to open up. Yep, this is a new prospect. We got this 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 person here, male or female, that does have 
a new opportunity. Five of Cups reversed. There's, there's realizing I got somebody better. This is somebody that is starting to realize that I have somebody better for me. And it's because this one won't open up. This guy is missing the boat. He's, he's losing. He's losing. And that's what it is here. We got this, 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 this person, whoever it is, is deciding that, you know, it, it's, they're going down a new path towards a new, a new love. We have two people that are going to be getting to know each other because somebody is taking that next step. They're literally, they could be going on a date. You know, they could be getting together. There could be some passion involved. There could be, a, you know, a date of some sort. There could be. There could be a message where somebody decides, you know, it could be spontaneous. Hey, you want to go out? Whatever. That could be the case. You want to come over? That kind of thing. Somebody is, is losing. Somebody is losing. Let's clarify this storm warning card. There is a storm a-brewing. Whew! Victory, success. Okay. This is the hero. This is the hero. We have somebody here that is finding the strength and the courage to do what's right for them. And it feels like we have somebody else that is recognizing that this is their opportunity. To swoop in and take what they can get. That's what's going to happen. Okay, because when the storm comes in, it takes what it can get. There's some sort of breakdown. Somebody else is watching as well. We got somebody here watching for sure that is observing. And I think whoever this person is that is observing this breakdown, they're observing this person's stupidity, they're going to swoop in and... take this victory that's what we got that is what we got endings bring new beginnings we have a new beginning here somebody's one man's trash is another man's treasure Somebody is going to receive a message that could lead to something solid, something stable, something passionate, a very sensual, um, compatible partnership. And this is getting to know each other. Somebody is getting to know somebody new. That's what we got going on here. Somebody is getting to know somebody new. Let me find my book. Diving for the light, letting go of the darkness. Somebody is. And there's going to be a union here. This is a new union. It is. It really, I, I believe that it is. This is something totally, totally, totally unexpected. This could be an unexpected uh, new soulmate coming into your life. Because you release. Because you let go. Because this is release and let go. Whoever this person is, this person has been watching. Somebody has been watching. I think, actually, there's two people watching. Maybe even more. We have many people here. There's definitely some observation going on behind the scenes. No doubt about it. Somebody's about to take that step. Somebody is about to go after the victory. Right here. I'm going to be the lot boss. I'm going to take the lead. I'm going to be the hero. This is the hero. The six of one. It is. Let me be your hero. Anyway, diving for light. How brave you are. You are diving for light. It can be so much simpler to seek light in the heavenly, in that which is blissful, sweet, loving, and kind. To look for the light in, which, in that which is dark is an advanced task that only a rebellious and brave heart will attempt. And she is very rebellious. You may not feel that you have taken such a journey by choice, Yet you have taken this wise challenge on from deep within your soul. 
Your innermost being has evoked this situation in your life with the intention that you grow in power, wisdom, and creative juice. It also wants you to experience a bold and fearless trust in life and become further empowered to live it with zest and courage. I told you she was very courageous. The oracle of diving for light speaks of a time when you are called into darkness through life circumstances, situations, and relationships. That's funny because it's dark. Okay, there has been some darkness. The oracle of diving for light speaks of a time when you are called into darkness through life circumstances, situations, relationship challenges, or inner struggles that, that defy clear understanding. That darkness might be a creative block, a sense of being in a void, or feelings of depression, rage, sadness, fear, or anxiety. There may or may not be an obvious cause. The darkness might be generally accepted and socially acknowledged. Of course it's socially acknowledged. That's bullshit. Because there is a socially acceptable or obvious reason for it. Like I said, with that hair font, somebody's been listening to everybody else. Sad situation right there. Anyhow. <clears throat> the darkness may be generally accepted and socially acknowledged because there is a socially acceptable or obvious reason for it, such as a death, divorce, or a retrenchment. However, there may be no obvious justification for your experience of darkness. You might not need a reason to be able to accept it. Likewise, you may struggle to find an unconditional acceptance of your experience. Just know that you are actually on track and right where you need to be. Our creative process and our spiritual path grow through a similar turning of the wheel. There is a spring and summer in the seasons of our soul as well as in the earthly ones. There is the autumn harvest and there is the death inherent in winter. When energy is concentrated and pulled within to seek out the darkness where it can rest, regenerate and simply be until the time is right for your new life energy and creative inspiration to burst forth. When diving for the light, one must be willing to bear the darkness and understand it has a purpose, much like winter does upon the earth. It is not an error or through lack of consciousness that you are here now. It is a testament to your spiritual growth and creative process, not a sign that you are lacking or stalling. The healing process below, which we're not going to read, so I'm not going to keep going, this oracle brings particular guidance that although you are powerful, which I took know that you are, you are also vulnerable at this time. You need to be alert to sabotage and criticism that may make your progress more difficult than it is already. This is crazy shit considering my Facebook posts I have been posting. Anyway, that would be rather unnecessary. At least some of the people around you might be more attached to their fear and doubt than to their faith in the process and the ways of the creative rebellious spiritual path that asks us to trust unconditionally. You may be frightened due to the lack of understanding. You don't need to carry that fear for them. You have your own process to attend to. And they can choose to be inspired by your journey, your journey, or be frightened by it. I urge you to go to my Soul Source Tarot page and look at, and it's a page on Facebook, and look at the posts that I have posted in the last 24 hours. I have told people right where to go. Anyhow, um... Because I, if people, you know, don't be frightened by your own path. If people don't like it, they are not meant to be in your circle. You also need to be vigilant against the darker forces within yourself. These are the voices that you may not expect particularly if you are a pure-hearted being who typically resonates with love. <laughs> These voices or feelings might surprise you with their dark intensity, and there is some darkness in my posts. There may be feelings of hate, <laughs> terror, or of wanting only to sleep because anything further is just too hard. 
They may be they may contain vicious criticism of yourself or tell you that your inner creative work is pointless, unoriginal, not worth it or stupid. These dark forces might try to tell you that you are on the wrong path, suggest that you will fail or ask with great condensation, who the hell do you think you are? You must stay in your heart and not believe these dark forces. Stay in compassion. Free, fear creates the energy of anger, hate, and destructiveness. These forces are part of life. We don't have to be frightened of them, nor do we need to deny their existence or try to ignore them in order to find light in the darkness. We just need to hold compassion and be intelligently aware so we can avoid being seduced into the trap of needing to prove ourselves or into the mistaken belief that we need to fight against darkness. It's too easy to get caught up in, the, in trying to heal the dark. Darkness just is recognize it when it is there and be your compassionate and be in your compassionate heart all you need to do is make a choice like i said will you stay in your heart or will you be seduced by the darkness and i said there was seduction this is unbelievable follow your light there's going to be some sort of communication some sort of loving message that comes through on the 20th. React from your heart. Good luck.